Hi guys, it's Steph and today I just left the pumpkin patch. I came just for the food and the line was huge and literally there were so many people and like half of them were not wearing masks. I'm like, what? But anyways, <laughs> I got two fried cheeses with mozzarella. I was gonna get one pepper jack, but they ran out. And then I got some onion rings. I already cleaned my hands and everything. Um, now let's just open up one of these cheese dogs first. I had like such a far walk back to the car. I'm like out of breath and I'm like sweating. Even though it's like not even that hot outside, but I wanted the cheese to like still be warm. So I'd get a cheese pool. And hopefully we do. Alright. Let's let's take a thumbnail. Thumbnail time. Why is everything so bright? Okay. Mmm. This is literally the best thing in the universe. Oh my god. Falling apart. Mm -hmm. Look at that. How am I gonna eat this? It's really messy. But holy cow. That is the best thing ever. Look at this. Why is everything so bright? This is completely falling apart. So we're just going to have to like. Go like that. And I brought ketchup and mustard. Because I wanted to put it on my dog. But there is no way I'm going to be able to when it's falling apart like this. Wow. I ate that quick. Shoot, I should have got more. I was going to get four. You know, just in case I have like leftovers from an air fryer but I was like shoot I won't be able to like hold them I could barely even hold all this stuff I feel like it's like so great all this cheese forever my favorite thing and I want to try these onion rings too I wasn't even planning on getting that Cause I was thinking maybe they could give me like um a thing to put them in for the go, but they didn't have that. Holy cow, that is the best cheese in the world. But I haven't been to a pumpkin patch yet besides today, but I literally just came for the fair food and left. The line was like massive to get into this place. But I just like walked past because I was like, I'm not gonna go ride the rides and stuff. Okay. I was really hungry. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, one down. Another to go. Honestly, I think pumpkin patches are kind of boring. But I do want to go. I want to like, actually like, come with my friends and stuff and like walk around, look at the animals, I guess. But like other than that, it is kind of like, I feel like more geared towards little kids. But I love the animals. I love looking at the animals. I really want like a cow and horses. 
Like, it would be fun to live on a farm. <laughs> I sound like such an Ohioan right now. There's farms literally all around where I live. Like, every single direction. Sometimes I'll come outside and it just, like, reeks like cow poop. Mmm. Tastes like a funnel cake, kind of. Or the exact same batter. I wanna make a TikTok real quick. I can't stop making TikToks. I am so addicted. Holy cow. See, some of them they were giving to people, they were like little short chodes. But this is huge, and I think that might be why it's falling apart, because it's so tall. I guess I just need to keep it in the foil. Yeah, that's what we gotta do. Look at that. Should I put ketchup and mustard on it? I feel like it's gonna like, run, like tear apart. So I wanna make this TikTok. I saw Natalie, David's uh, assistant, do it. And I was like, aw, I love that. It's basically just like a reminder if anyone like is, like is doesn't wanna eat, that like, they could just come back to that video and like, Watch this person eat which that's why I love my bangs because I know it helps some people like you can eat with them It makes you want to eat because you see someone else eating and enjoying their food. So it's like You know if they're doing it. It's like you can do it, too But let me find it Is it connected to my car? I don't know why it always does that Here it is someone did the audio and I want to do the audio, too I thought that it would be nice for you guys to have a video of me. I'm just gonna thought, do it real quick. <laughs> I thought that it because this is gonna be like yummy to see on a TikTok. I guess I'll just hold it. My hair, I hate it straight, honestly. I thought that it would be nice for you guys to have a video of me just sitting there eating, so that if you ever mm. are having a hard time eating, you can come back to this video sit there with me and enjoy your meal with me so yeah i love you guys use this whenever you want i love you oh my god that's so good i just ate my hair though so i need to do it again <laughs> i thought that it would be nice for you guys to have a video of me just sitting there eating so that if you ever are having a hard time eating you can come back to this video sit there with me and enjoy your meal with me so yeah i love you guys use this whenever you want i love you I okay a little behind the scenes i need to put this in my instagram story too because this is literally my favorite food in the world let's use a filter I know I literally hate not using a filter now that they're like always on Snapchat and Instagram and everything. <laughs> this is like the best breading ever. I kind of got a corn dog too. I guess I should have like brought a bag. When I was walking back in front of everyone that was like in the line. And I dropped my cheese on a stick, but it was like completely wrapped in the foil because I wrapped it so it would like stay warm. And I was like, oh, don't look at me. It's so embarrassing. I'm sorry guys, I am so annoying, but when there's a good cheese pool, I have to take a picture of it. And I know, this is the last time I go on my phone though, so don't worry. <laughs> that is needs to be my new profile picture for my foodie Instagram page. Oh my gosh. I know my friends came here and Austin sent me a video of the fried cheese and I'm like oh, where is that at and then I went like two days later I was like I need to film a video of that and I feel like usually my mukbangs are pretty clean and this one's like really messy 
sorry. I hate being messy, but I kind of had no other choice. Just like, watch the cheese pool. Sorry guys, my camera really does just be running out of storage all the time. But I'm excited because As I was saying how I don't like my hair straightened, I feel like it just doesn't lay nice. And I just think I look way better with my hair curled. So I saw on TikTok that a bunch of people were like curling their hair with a half inch curling iron, like a really, really small curling wand. And I was like, ooh, I wanna do that. And it like kept turning out like so cute when everyone was doing it. Like super curly, pretty hair. And I ordered the curling iron last night and uh, I got it from Ulta. It's like a bedhead brand, only like $20, $30, I think it was. And I'm excited to like curl my hair like ringlets like that. I think that'll be like, cause my hair is like not super curly like that. So it's like to see it like that will be interesting. And these guys are staring at me. I'm getting pretty full. Like really full. All this cheese. That's a lot of cheese at once. But last night, do you ever just feel like online shopping and you can't stop? Like once you start, you just keep going. If you guys know those mini brands, those like little mystery boxes with like the cute, the cute little snacks on the inside. I was on that website where I got that jumbo, um, the jumbo Happy Meal, and also the jumbo Lunchable. <sighs> I'm back on that website looking for more. I wanted more. But I honestly didn't find any that I really liked. But they had like mini brands, but their brand and like they're so cute. So I ordered three, which is a total of nine little figure things. It's like so pointless. I like waste my money. And I had a freaking coupon in my email too, and I forgot to use it. I did that last time too. And I emailed them, I'm like, hey, can you please put the 30% off coupon in that I have? Because I just spent a hundred dollars like that would like at least pay for the shipping and stuff they're like no sorry we can't do it I was like okay fine whatever I like if I order from them again I'll just make sure to use it and then I forgot to use it so who else I know like I can't be the only one but then I just google searched cool things to buy because <laughs> Andrea Russa always does those videos when she like smokes she goes online to like weird websites and just buys a bunch of fun random stuff and I like was looking for fun stuff to buy but I didn't see anything I wanted <laughs> good I was putting on my Instagram story the stuff I did want Like that huge loaf of bread pillow, like a body pillow. That's a big loaf of bread. That is so fun. One day when I have my own house, I feel like I'm gonna have one room dedicated, maybe like the the kids playroom or something. And I'm gonna have like all that cutesy like food pillows and maybe like a cheeseburger, ottoman. All that good stuff. Mm -mm. Mm. This is good ranch. I'm full.
Well, well, well. Where do my napkins keep going? Oh, here we go. Oh, my lipstick. I got my aftermath of the sticks. And then I have some onion rings left over. And I have made a mess in my car. But that's okay because I'm gonna just vacuum it. Oh, I wanna get outside of my car and brush off these crumbs on my legs, but there's so many bees and I don't know if I wanna risk a bee getting in my car. I'm gonna do it. Do it for the vine. Do it for the vine. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this little fair food mukbang. I am so full, I feel like I have a big giant thing of cheese just sitting in my stomach now so that's healthy you know <laughs> but if you enjoyed today's video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe also click my notification bell and i will see you all next time bye guys